this. Determine the power supplied by the dependent source for the circuit shown below using nodal analysis. This is the given circuit. We are supposed to find power supplied by the dependent source. Here we have a dependent source. It is current dependent current source. So let this is a non-reference node V1 and let this be non-reference node V2 and we, we can see that this is the voltage at reference node and its voltage is zero. We will consider this as a reference node. You can call it as VR. So this node and this node both are same as this point is connected to shorted to this point. So this is reference node as well as this is reference node. So now we will assume that this is a current dependent current source. It is dependent on current I1 where I1 is the current which flows through 2 ohm resistor. Now let current through this branch is something I2. Let current through this branch is I3. So as we know in nodal analysis we are supposed to apply KCL to each non-reference nodes. So now I will apply KCL to node V1 apply KCL that is Kirchhoff's current law to node V1 that is incoming current is 15 is equal to I2 plus I1. I1 and I2 are leaving the node where 15 amp current is entering the node. 15 is equal to I2 plus I1. Now we will try to represent these currents in terms of node voltages. So I2 is nothing but V1 minus V2 divided by 1 that is potential difference between two nodes divided by register V1 minus V2 divided by 1 plus I1 is nothing but potential difference between this node voltage and this voltage and this voltage divided by 2 ohm. So as we know this is a reference voltage and its voltage is 0 therefore I1 is nothing but V1 divided by 2. V1 by 2. So simplifying this I can write 15 is equal to V1 plus V1 by 2 is nothing but 1.5 V1 minus V2. We will call it as equation 1. Now I will apply KCL to node V2. apply KCL to node V2 that is I can write it as 3I1 plus I2 is equal to I3 as 3I1 is incoming current I2 is also incoming where I3 is leaving V2. So here I can write I1 is nothing but V1 by 2 I1 is equal to V1 by 2. So I can write it as 3 into V1 by 2 plus I2 is V1 minus V2 divided by 1. And I3 is 3 is V2 minus this voltage divided by register. As we know voltage at this point is 0. So I3 is V2 by 3. I3 is V2 by 3. So now we will simplify this further that is 1.5 V1 plus V1 minus V2 minus V2 by 3 is equal to 0 that is further I can write it as 2.5 V1 so this is 1 and 1 by 3 that is 1.333 V2 is equal to 0 we will call it as equation 2 so now we will solve equation 1 and 2 So that will get V1 and V2 variable. You can write solving equations 1 and 2. We get so this can be solved using Kramer's rule or we can also solve directly using calculator. So directly I will use calculator and I will keep the answer. So here V1 is equal to minus 39.95 and V2 is minus 74.92 volts.
so approximately i can write v1 is equal to minus 40 volt and i can write v2 is equal to minus 75 so therefore now i can find power supplied by dependent source is given by that is p is equal to here we can see that dependent source is 3 i1 that is 3 i1 into the node voltage of this is v2 that is v2 because we know that power is equal to current into voltage p equal to vi so here p is equal to 3 into we know that i1 is nothing but v1 by 2 that is v1 by 2 into v2 therefore p is equal to 3 into v1 is minus 40 by 2 into v2 is minus 75 so solving this we will get p is equal to 4500 watt or we can write 4.5 kilowatt so this is the required power thank you for watching